Hey guys, Nick Wheeler here again at Wheeler Crystal Knives. So this is going to be a quick addition to my hand sanding videos. So sometimes you have a blade where uh, everything's done, you've got a handle on it, and uh, you end up with a little bit of surface rust on the blade somewhere, or you get an errant scratch in it, and you got to get it out before you send it out to the customer. Or maybe you bought a factory knife that obviously already came complete with a handle on it, and you want to hand sand it. Um, you got to be able to fixture it securely in order to sand it and so uh, in all my other videos you know we're dealing with a bare blade with no handle on it and uh, unfortunately sometimes things happen and you end up with a blade um, like this one where uh, it's been out in the shop unattended and even though I had it oiled uh, has this a little bit of uh, surface rust just a little bit of oxidation in a couple spots and it'll be quick to to get out um, once we fixture the blade properly, but without fixing the blade securely, um, it's almost impossible to sand it and, and get a finish that will be at the same uh, quality level as what it was when it was just a bare blade and it was fixtured real, real securely. So uh, this, this is a super simple solution, but I dicked around with a lot of different methods over the years trying to figure out how to do that and uh, came up with this a while back and it's super simple, but it will make your life a lot easier. So. Let's go ahead and get him right into it. Okay, now the issue is when you have a bare blade with no handle on it, it's, re it's really easy to clamp it down because we don't have anything uh, affecting the, our ability to clamp this down secure to a flat surface like this. So where the rub comes in is once we have a handle on here and it completely changes the dimensions, we don't just have a flat blade anymore, we can't just clamp it on here so easily as, as what we could with the bare blade and so that's what this video is about is a simple solution to securely clamping a blade like this down with the finished handle so we can do touch up work on the blade so I believe I got these at Walmart you can get this PSA foam uh, it's actually for kids uh, crafting projects but it works I use it for quite a few things in the shop but anyway it's just <clears throat> uh, about a hundred thousandths thick uh, foam and it's PSA so it's sticky on the back and um, make sure not to let children stick their head in the bag because they might suffocate so then you go to your scrap leather bin and pull out some leather scraps and cut them into um, pieces that are gonna work for for your application typically I do the long kind of like finger size strips here this is some uh, 13 ounce uh, sole leather actually and then you can put various uh, layers on there and you can trim it down carve it down whatever you need to do but you want to make sure to have some for the blades um, and then you also need something for the handle because uh, we don't want to clamp down on, on a finished handle uh, directly onto that surface so uh, th this is the one I'll be using for this handle this is just a piece of um, 9 10 ounce leather and I've got a couple of the layers of the the um, foam stuck on top and that'll be plenty enough to allow us to securely clamp the knife down but protect the handle so let's go ahead and do this okay so we've got a simple sanding fixture here in the vise just take a I take a scrap of this is an old part of an old t-shirt lay that down and then um, depending on your your handle thickness and your blade thickness is going to determine how thick of a, a spacer you need so basically this this thickness right here and then you probably need to account if you have a lot of taper in your blade and so I know that this one right here is going to be what I want for this so lay that down on top and then take a piece of paper towel lay that down and now we have um, an elevated surface out here which will support that blade So then we can take it and lay it down here. Make sure to put it up far enough that your tip's set back and you're not gonna stab yourself with the point. And we've got our square scrap that goes on here. And then I've just, I'm just gonna use a C-clamp. Usually I have to fiddle with it a little bit because there is a crown to the side of the handle so it's you're not clamping to a flat flat surface but and don't go 
Don't go crazy with this. Uh, I, these are G10 handles, so I could really crank this down, but uh, if you have wood or ivory or anything, you don't want to go crazy climbing down. But um, there, that's it. It's, it's fixtured now, and it's secure, so we can go ahead and do the touch-up sanding on it.